On Sunday in Venezuela, President Hugo Chavez faces one of the tightest races he one of the tightest races since he was first elected back in 1998. His 40 year old challenger, Enrique Capriles, is a young politician who promises jobs and safer streets. But one movement is boosting Chavez's appeal with Venezuela's youth. CCTV's Michelle Begay is in Caracas with more. Michelle. Elaine, in every election, candidates battle it out for the youth vote. But during these elections in Venezuela, there's one youth community in the toughest ghettos of this country that are finding their own strategy to garner support for their candidate, President Hugo Chavez. Armed with only spray cans, stencils, and big ideas, a group of artists has made their views pop on the busy streets of Caracas. These young Venezuelans are called the Liberation Communication Army, and they are executing a campaign called Chavez es otro beta. Basically, it is that idea of the youth making Chavez our own. It's a metaphor. We see ourselves in Chavez, and he sees himself in us. It is a youthful take on a 58-year-old Chavez who over the past year has fought a battle against cancer. After a year of speculation on how sick the president really is, this campaign seems to help project a youthful image. Especially when challenging a much younger candidate, longtime bachelor Enrique Capriles. Although this has been the interpretation, the campaign's artists insist it means much more. Chavez is our representative. He's the image of all Venezuela. He's not doing just whatever he likes. He's executing projects that we support. A couple of months ago, President Chavez held a rally here in Petare, one of the biggest slums of the state of Miranda, where the campaign Chavez es otro beta was born. The young voters and creators of the campaign come from different barrios or communities like this one where government programs are trying to make sure the youth stay away from the prominent drugs and guns. Victor Hernan Rodriguez also hopes the campaign will bring a larger message to the new generations. We don't have a huge television channel, but we can take over public spaces. We can take a billboard and instead of having it sell us a drink, we can make it communicate our message. And for now, this group's message is that they'll support their president's attempt to get elected for a third term. Michelle Bege, CCTV, Caracas. Dance and sports group are also lending their support to this graffiti campaign. Back to you, Elaine. Well, Michelle, how are the preparations for Sunday's elections going so far? Any word or reports of any disturbances? Well, officials say they're already uh, ready in the polling stations uh, to accept all the millions of Venezuelans who are going to go out to vote on, the, on this Sunday. Uh, and so far, we haven't seen any disturbances. There hasn't been any violence. Obviously, a lot of people have been speculating that there will be protests if, if it doesn't go uh, one way or another of how uh, the opposition expects it to go or Chavistas do. Um, what we have been hearing, uh, some media reports are saying that uh, some people are going out to supermarkets to get uh, food and other provisions in case protests do uh, let out after these elections. But there, haven't, there hasn't been any violence since last Sunday at a Capriles uh, ra rally where uh, two supporters of the opposition uh, were killed. Okay, Michelle Begay reporting live from Caracas. We're looking forward to your reporting on Sunday. Thank you.